when did the problem start arising with all the homeless here in, in Portland and what does it come from? Well, I came from Panguitch, Utah. I'm, I'm not from here. What's up everybody? Welcome to Portland, Oregon. Now, two days ago, I actually posted a video from here when I was driving around the city and showing you guys what it's looking like right now in 2021. And I received a lot of positive feedback, but some of you guys told me that you wanted me to get a more in-depth look and a closer look at what's really going on here in the city. So today, I'm going to be walking around and trying to interview a few individuals to try and see what life is like out here on the streets of Portland, Oregon. Right now, I'm actually going to cross the street over here towards the keep portland weird sign because i found a couple of um interesting looking people that i can tell live on these streets here in portland and we're gonna try and see if we can talk to someone to learn a bit more about the current situation that's going on here in the city now how ironic is it that there is a sign that says keep portland weird hey how's it going are you from portland you're from where? Louisiana, Georgia. Oh, nice. And how how long have you been in Portland for? Um, I've been in the now. Huh? Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. I'm in the with somebody else. Oh, okay. So yeah, don't underst quite understand all of that, Jabber. But hey, pretty crazy, right? Crazy what's happening out here on the streets of Portland, Oregon. So we just found Julie. How you doing, Julie? I'm doing all right. I'm trying to find work, but in the meantime, I do have to eat and have a cigarette or something. Yeah, exactly. It's stressful living out here, right? Yeah, without being able to find a job, um, but I'm, I'm trying very hard. I'm being responsible. Well, hopefully we can help you out with a little bit of money to get some food today. Okay. I got a couple questions for you. So I've been rolling around Portland and we actually grew up coming here to Portland all the time. When did the problem start arising with all the homeless here in, in Portland and what does it come from? Well, I came from Panguitch, Utah. I'm, I'm not from here. Okay. Um, and I've only been in town a month and a week. Wow. So, but it's my second visit here. Okay. And the last time I was here, they were having the same problem. Really? So, around what year? It was about three years ago that I was here the first time. Wow. Okay. Now, how, what part of Utah are you from? Panguitch. Panguitch. Is that north or south? Uh, north. I've heard a lot of great things about Utah. Everybody tells me about all of the national parks that exist there. Uh, yeah, like Beaver City. And Beaver City, yeah. Zion National Park, Bryce yeah. Canyon. Yeah. So what does a typical day consist of of life out here in Portland? Well, uh, I went around to the bars and I went around to the stores. I told them I had been in town for about a month and I'm not here to party and beg change and, and, and be of non-usefulness. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find a job. I'm more than happy to work. It doesn't bother me to work at all. And it's very good on my heart and on my body and on my mind. And um, I told them all the qualities that I had, waitressing and PBX operator and... Uh, What's a and, PBX operator? Well, you, you ask for a switchboard you write down what they say on a piece of paper, you stick it in a slot and hang up and keep waiting for the phones to ring. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, and I was also a maid at uh, Airport Inn in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was a, a hotel motel. Okay. And um, also I was a waitress at a regular restaurant. Man, so, that's super cool. So you've yeah. been around. You've been yeah. around to all kinds of different places. Yeah. You've traveled all around the U.S.? Yeah, I've been in Hawaii, I've been in Utah, I've been in uh, Washington, Vancouver, which is right across the bridge here cool. in Oregon, Portland, and I've been um, over in Denver, Colorado. Sweet. And uh, also I was in Laredo, Texas. Oh, nice. So you, you actually came up here from Utah by road on the highway. Yeah, Greyhound. I took Greyhound. Greyhound. Yep. Wow, how much was that? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah that's quite a much, way. Dad pretty much tapped me as soon as I got off the bus. I was kind of, well, uh, first of all, what are you gonna have for lunch, and and what are you gonna do for cigarettes? Uh, what are you gonna do for a Coca Cola? Yeah. Uh, I don't drink alcohol. I don't use drugs. I just smoke tobacco, and um, and so I thought, well, 
I don't know. I guess I could go to the middle of the road and say, could you help me out? But I began uh, telling them that I was looking for work and I didn't really need to change that much except for I was hungry. I mean, of course, you do, if you're broke, you, you've got to do something about that. You got to make some money. You got right, to eat. Right. Everybody's got to eat right. out here. That's right. Everybody's got to eat and have a Coca Cola or exactly. something. Exactly. A Coca Cola a day keeps a doctor away. Well, my yeah, friends. <laughs> yeah. That's really, really cool. So, have you, what, what brought you to Portland? What is it about Portland that sucked you in? Because for me, man, there's a reason why I keep coming back here. This okay. place is so beautiful. It's such a good vibe. And, like, I don't know. I love the Pacific Northwest. It's just a beautiful place in the United States. Oh, uh, where are you originally from, though? I'm from California, Southern California. Man, oh. it's too damn hot down there. Are you talking about Huntington Beach or Newport? Near. I'm from Long Beach. Oh, Long Beach. So you've been around that area. Yeah, I also lived in Adelanto, California. Ad oh, okay, cool. And uh, as well as um, uh, Westminster. Westminster, yeah, that's very close to me. That's about like 25 minutes away from Long Beach. Yeah. So. Man, you've traveled quite a bit. Yeah. That's awesome. You couldn't help me out with work, uh, regular work, could you? Man, you know what? I can't physically because this is what I do for a living is I make videos. But okay. if anybody here watching can help her out with some work, where can they find you here in Portland? Uh, well, right in front of Dante's, I guess in the middle of the road, uh, the median. Okay. Right in front of Dante's. That's where, that's where we found you, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So if you guys do make it to downtown Portland or if you're in the area and you have some work, Please come find her. She's more than willing to work. Uh, yep. Right. Yep. What? So what is it that you do again? Uh, waitress or okay. housekeeper maid, or uh, maybe answering phones or filing. Filing. Okay. Yeah. So I'm you're good with file. paperwork. Yep, I'm good with paperwork also. Awesome. Sweet. Well, okay. here. You know, it's not much, but hopefully it helps you out with something. All and right. um, yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. I wish you the best out here. Be okay. safe. I was just driving around and it looks yeah. like it could get kind of crazy out here, right? Some people got some pretty hot tempers. You yeah, seem to be like yeah. the nicest person we've tried to talk to today. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye. Alright guys, and just like that, that's going to be the end of our small little interview here in Portland, Oregon.